to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so be part of this journey with us. And I want to thank every single one of you that have been with me from the start and that give me the thumbs up and comment and share my videos. Thank you so much. I am grateful to every single one of you. I also would like to mention right up top there's three little buttons. You can click there, slow down the video to the speed you'd like, and there is the CC closed caption. Everything I will be calling out the stitch will be written down here, so it makes it easier for you to pause and take notes. I also would like to mention in the description box, there is the link to the uh, slow down the video in case you don't know how to do it. You could just click there. It's a two minute video and you can see how it's done. It's very simple and easy, not complicated at all. I also would like to ask you to please, if you like the video, to give those thumbs up for especially newcomers um, that you're new to the channel. It helps the channel to circulate worldwide and it helps other people to recognize and become members. Thank you so much for that. I also would like to mention um, for the people that have extra yarn, extra thread, if you want to give a helping hand to the women in need, desperately in need for it, please reach out to me through Instagram, TikTok, my Facebook. I have a Facebook crochet group. You can become a member part of it as long as you have a profile on your um, Facebook. You're more than welcome to request and join in our group. We're a beautiful um, little group growing each day. I also have a crochet page. You can follow me there and you can message me on Instagram and um, and help to donate. There's also a dollar sign below the video. You can donate through there whatever you feel like to help out the women or in the description box there's my PayPal account. You can do you know, give it through there too, so I can buy the thread and send them out to them. And we are grateful and humble, very much so, for your kindness and your good heart. So please do help, okay? So we are going to get started. I usually use hook 3.5 or a 3, a small one for um, tucking in loose ends, and a pair of scissors. And 99.9% .9 my thread is 100% cotton thread. It's a four-ply. Same thing as Aunt Lydia, number 3. So we're going to get started, everyone. Thank you so much again for being part of this journey with me. Okay, everyone. So... I've been requested to do a long table runner with heart shapes. So we are going to create that today together. Now, this specific design, it is not created, not created by me. It's not designed by me. I don't know who the designer is. A lot of my friends have created this type table runner and I've asked them if they had ideas. So they send me the picture to create out of this one since the request was pretty big so I'm just going to modify a bit the pattern obviously even though I don't know who the official uh, designer is if once I do I will pin it up in the comments section um, until then I leave open space but I'm making it very clear I am not the official designer of this uh, table runner I am going to modify it my own way to my own liking but just to put it out there uh, once it does uh, get the information who the official designer is then I will link it on the uh, pin it up <clears throat> on the comment section and also put it in the description section because it's only fair for designers that go out of their way to create these beautiful patterns they have to be recognized for what they make Okay, so I'm just, like I said, I'm going to modify it to my own uh, thing. You know, not to be exactly, specifically the same thing, same design, same stitch. Okay, so we're going to use 100% four-ply um, cotton thread. These are Portugal brands, as you can see here. So it's a four-ply there. And this normally is the um, number. Ladybug, that's what they call a Juanina. That's what it means, ladybug. And like I said, these hundred these cones are hundred grams and fabricated in Portugal. Okay. So and this uh, cream tan, well it's not really tan, it's it's a cream color. 
And this is a deep, deep red. It's almost like a deep wineish cherry red. Cherry red. There's the word. Okay, so we're going to go with that. Let's get started. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. It's very important. I see that a lot of you come and check out my stuff. But it seems like you're a little bit too lazy to give those thumbs up to click that little thumb up button. It's very important for the channel, people. Please, you know, help out somehow. These things are free. I come out of my way and spend many, many, many hours creating these pieces for you guys. The least you can do is to help out by subscribing if you haven't yet. And give those thumbs up. It's very important. I also want to thank you so much for your love and support and all of your beautiful comments. You guys are amazing. And your encouraging words and lovely words. I am humble and grateful to every single one of you. Thank you so much, everybody. Okay? I send you much love, much hugs. We're going to get started. So 3.5, little one for the talking in loose ends, and a pair of scissors. Okay? So this will be the big runner and then eventually I will make the smaller one to be used into smaller tables small smaller areas so this one's going to take about uh, three hearts so it's three on one side three on the other and then eventually later I make I will make the smaller doily and do with two hearts or even there's like uh, place placemats with one heart and squares um, there's all kinds of things you can do with it okay let's get started everyone Okay, everyone, so the first thing we're going to do is trying to cut down the color here on the camera. Slip stitch knot. Now, this slip stitch knot does not count as a, um, does not count for the pattern anytime, okay? So that's just to get your pattern going. I need to probably lift it a little bit on my camera here. Okay, so now we're going to do 118, because this is the long runner, okay? 118 chain stitch. So do yours, I'll do mine, and we'll meet at the end. I'm starting off with the um, cream color, and then I'll come in with my red once I'm ready to start the hearts. Okay, everyone. So I've done my 118 chain. As you can see, it will be a big runner. Um, this is good for six to eight seater. Now, for people that have extremely tight stitch, you have to use a hook bigger so your stitch won't crample up as you're uh, going along. For people that have a very loose stitch, use a hook smaller so you can have a tighter stitch so it can look nice. Okay, so we're going to go back to the sixth place, not counting from the one on the hook. One, two, three, four, five. On your sixth place, make sure you grab two loops, not one. Because if you grab only one loop, it's going to be too loose and the pattern becomes big and heavy and not pretty. One, two, three, four, five. Let me see if I got this properly in. I need on my sixth. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, I was right, but... Just making sure. So not the one on the hook. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure you grab those. Bring this a little bit closer, maybe. Okay. Two, three, four, five. So not to get the wrong one. So we have these two loops here. This one that comes across and the one back here like that. Make sure that you grab. So you're going to have one in the front, right? But you grab both loops. So you have to go right in the middle of it. Now, we're going to do three double, groups of three double crochet, one per space, like that, okay? Two chain. We're going to skip one, two, on your third one, create these groups of three double crochet all the way to the end. We're going to count this as row one in order for us to continue the follow-up. So we're going to do this all the way to the end. Coming to the end, you're supposed to have 23 groups of three double crochet. And it's supposed to land on your last double crochet. Even, let's say you made a mistake on your count and you have one extra. you rather have extra chain stitch than to be short. Because we can always take it down, but we can't increase, right? 
So when we get to the end and finish our last double crochet of the group, because we'll have the three double crochets here, we're going to do chain four and close it in on the first chain here that we do the last double crochet on this side. We're going to do, uh, we're going to slip stitch to close it in and then we're going to work on this side. So whatever we're doing on this side or the edge, we're going to do exactly the same thing on this side and on this edge. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I finished my last double crochet. I think for some reason, I don't know why the black keeps lightening out. Oh, this is worse. Okay. That is worse. We'll continue with the black. Just try to cut the color down on here. Maybe not too much either, right? Okay, so as you can see, I finished the last one on the last chain and I have 23 groups of three double crochet. Okay, and then we're going to do chain four. One, two, three, and four. I'm going to come into the first one that we did the last double crochet and I'm going to close it in with so we're going to come into the first one that we did the last um, double crochet. We're going to go back into the same chain and do a slip stitch. Okay. Now, just come inside of this little circle here. Bring your thread from behind. Okay. And we're going to do a one, two, three, four, and five. Three for double crochet, two for space. Okay. We're going to come inside. <clears throat> Actually, I should have hit. I'm going to do this again. I'm going to hide my little thread. I forgot to hide it. Okay. So we have the little leftover thread. So one, two, three, four, and five. The rest will be hitting on the next row. We're going to come into the space and create those three groups again of double crochet. Okay. Two chain space. And again, create the groups all the way to the end. Like that. And two, oh my goodness, the lighting is horrible. <clears throat> and two chain space again. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys, reaching the end. Just get you a little bit closer here. I did my two chain and I'm going to come inside of that little ring we have here on the edge. I'm going to do a double crochet, one chain, another double crochet, one chain. We're going to have six double crochets separated space by one chain because this is our um, curve, right? So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Chain two because we're going to create again these little blockage of three double crochet, the groups. We're going to do these six double crochets on this one here also. We already have one. Remember, we did that one in order to um, to go up, well, we have that one already here in order to go up. Remember we did the five chain? So you have five more double crochets to complete here. I'll come back to you at the end once you do your five double crochets. 
space of one chain and of course one chain here and you're going to tie it up on the third chain because this is your sixth double crochet exactly like we're just doing here okay so I'll meet you at the end and I'm cutting my thread and, and proceeding with the red okay you guys so as you can see I'm right at the edge I did my two chain went in did my double crochet one chain space another double crochet one chain space and so on so I have five with this one that we started make six I'm doing only one chain I'm going one two on my third one two three on my third space slip stitch okay so you have exactly six as we have on this side Okay. okay everyone so I've changed color I'm gonna come into the last double crochet we did here of the edge okay and I'm going to do a double crochet so single two chain and one more on the same space so I'm gonna have two double crochets on the same space chain two I'm going to come into the first double crochet here and do a double crochet now because we've I've changed color and because we are going to start creating already the beginning foundation of the hearts we're not going to count this as rows we're going to start counting from here on okay I think it's best for all of us since the colors change so row one okay let's take it from there one two chain I'm gonna come into the center of this little square we're building squares again with three double crochet I'm gonna build two more groups of three and on my fourth one I'm building four double crochet it will be the foundation of my first heart okay two chain space and three more double crochet now, if it gets too, uh, taking too much space on my mobile, then I will have to go to part two because, you know, this is a runner. It's long. It's got its details and we don't want to rush into it and make a mess out of it, right? Okay, so now, one, two. On this one here, this is the first foundation of the first heart. So we're going to do four double crochets instead of three because it's the beginning of the first heart okay and now for the next sixth space one two three four five and six we're going to do groups of three double crochet separated by two chain i'm going to do mine do yours so we can cut some of the memory uh, over floating on my phone because it's just a repeat as I'm explaining to you so we're gonna do six times six groups of three double crochet separated by two chain I'll come back to you on the sixth one okay so we have the four double crochets our first foundation of the first heart we did one two three four five and six on my seventh one I'm going to do four double crochets again this is my second foundation of my second heart remember I told you I'll have three hearts on one side and three on the other oops I have to do four I almost I almost forgot just by talking right Okay, so we have the four double crochet on the seventh one. Again, we're going to repeat six groups exactly like here of three double crochet. And on the seventh one, we're going to do another, which is the last um, foundation of the heart, which is the third heart. Okay, so do your sixth, six groups of three double crochet, two chain space always. And again, continue the groups. And on your seventh one, so we have two, do four more. And on the seventh one, we're going to do four double crochets. 
Okay, so I've done my six. Here's my four. The last four we did. One, two, three, four, five, six. On my seventh one, I'm going to do four double crochets exactly like we did. So now we have we have one heart, two heart, and three heart. Now we're going to do exactly like we did here at the beginning. We have three groups and then one double crochet. And this is what we're going to do here. We're going to do the three groups, F3 double crochet, space, two chain, next space, Two chain, next space, which is the last space, the last group. Okay, so now we have the three groups like we had at the beginning. Chain two, and that one double crochet, we're going to go right on top, exactly how we have it here. And do that one chain two. We're going to come in the first double crochet at the edge and do two double crochets together. Okay. Okay, everyone. So chain two. Now where we have these six double crochets separated by one chain, we're going to work two double crochets per space. We're creating these groups. We're starting to increase the edges. Two chain space and two double crochet on each double crochet here at the edge. So we're going to have six groups of two double crochet on the edge. Remembering that what we're doing here, we're doing also on the other side the same thing. Now I'm going to finish to do the sixth one here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Chain two. Coming into the first double crochet. So we have to do exactly the same thing on this side as we did here with that one double crochet. Trying to hide my leftover little thread here. So one double crochet, chain two, and we proceed the groups inside of the square spaces here of three double crochet. So we have exactly in the same space the one. And now we're going to create the groups exactly like we did here. Coming to the edge, we're going to do two double crochets per space, two chain space between them. Now press two double crochet inside of each double crochet here. So groups of two. This will be the sixth one. We already have one there. So you got to create five more chain two separation in between them. I'll meet you at the end. Remembering on this side we have the three double crochets and the four double crochets, the foundation of the first heart. So you have to proceed the same way and exactly, and then you do your six and then you're going to have your other four double crochets and then you do your six again and you're going to have your last four double crochets. Okay, not to forget. Okay, everyone. So... We're going into row two. Remember I said that we'd start counting row one because we changed color. It makes it easier on us. So chain three. Next space, I'm doing two more double crochet. We are increasing the groups as we go. So we start with one, two, three, next row, four, five, six, and so on. Chain two. I'm coming in where I have that one double crochet. Now this time we're going to create one on top and three, 
So basically, um, two inside of the space, we're going to have a group of three. Two chain. And it's always going to be like this all the way up. One Next row will be one. Next row will be three. Next row will be one. Because this is what's going to keep the line straight. Okay. Two chain space. And continue until we get to that four group. Uh, the four double crochet group. And we're going to increase there because that's... Uh, part of the heart so we need to start creating the heart so I'm going to meet you there at the actually I'm already there right okay so here we have the four double crochets inside of the space we're only going to do two double crochet because we have to start increasing the shape of the heart so two inside of the space one per space here and two on the next little block. So we're going to have a total of eight double crochet. So two inside of here. And we're going to do that with the other group of fours the same way. So two, two inside, create the double crochets before, and two more. And then proceed again with your normal three group three double crochet group okay so you're going to continue until we come to the fourth one we're going to put two inside do the double crochets and two inside on this one also exactly like we just finished doing with this one so you're going to have eight and also on the last one will be the same thing two inside of the space double crochet or double crochet and two on the last one there okay so and then of course we're going to continue to do exactly the same thing here when we get to this one double crochet we're going to put two inside and one on top so we can create the group of three okay but i'll meet you on the next one so we've reached where we have the four double crochets again we're only going to do two inside of here one double crochet per space over double crochet and two inside of the space here chain two and continue your groups until the next group of four you're going to repeat the same process Oops. Okay, so we're going to do the double crochets until we get here. We're going to do two, the four double crochets, and two here. I'll meet you there. Okay, so I've done my last heart groups there to chain and continue to proceed the same way. Continue to do your three double crochet, two chain, Now we have that one double crochet. We're going to do two inside because we want to create a group of three. Chain two. And now we're going into the edge, the corner. We're going to do exactly the same thing as we did on the other corner. So one double crochet on the first one, two double crochet on the second one. And proceed with two chain and continue again to repeat the same thing. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. So we have the three heart increase here. Okay, row three. One, two, three. One double crochet. Next space, double crochet. We're continuing to increase the last space, two double crochets together. So we started with one, two, three, four. 
chain two. We're doing one double crochet only. Remember what I mentioned, we want it to be a straight line up. So we're doing one and then group one and then group and it keeps going like that until the end. Two chain and we create our groups. Now, when we get to the group here, we're gonna to continue to increase by adding two in here, doing double crochet over double crochet and two at the end. Okay, so I'll meet you there. So I am at the groups, two inside of the space, we're doing the increase. So now we're supposed to have 12 double crochets and it will be repeatedly like this. Next row will be exactly the same thing. We're gonna increase two in here, so we'll be having 16 double crochets on row four and we'll be having five double crochets because we're always increasing one at the end here we'll have the three double crochets group right until we have the right uh, size to build the edge up top of the heart then we are going to change the the design Okay, so 4, 8, 12. Continue to do the same thing here also. Two in here and two there. So you'll have your 12, your double crochets, and your groups. You're going to add your 12 here also. You're going to do your one double crochet here only. And you're going to add two at the end on your groups. I'll meet you at the end of the row because it's just simple and easy as that. Okay. Okay, everyone, so pretty much finished row three. Now, remember I told you one row is one double crochet, the next row is the group, next row is one double crochet, and we do the same thing on this side, okay, as this side. So in here we have 12 double crochets, the groups, 12 double crochets, the groups, 12 double crochets, and the increase two on the last double crochet, which I missed one there. And I will show you the trick. Instead of taking the whole row down, I'll show you the trick, how we're gonna add that one there without taking it down. I think it's important for you guys to know. I did show already in a few videos, but of course not all the videos have the same thing, right? So we're gonna continue to increase one, two, Three. This is row four. Next space. Double crochet. Next space. We're going to repeat again exactly the same thing. The only difference is we'll have five double crochets here now. We're going to do the group here. And here we'll have 16 double crochets on both sides. Everything else stays the same as groups. And once I get here where I forgot to add two at the end. I'll get here and I'll show you how we're going to add it. So continue to do yours. Everything else stays the same. So here we know that we have to do the three double crochets because the previous row is one double crochet. Okay, so continue on and I'll meet you there at the end. Okay, you guys. <clears throat> so we're going to go into the one that I missed. Get you a little bit more up. I did my two chain. I'm coming in to do my double crochet. The next one. Now, of course, I missed at the end. So I'm going to do a triple coming in to the same one where I missed. I'm going to take out once. I'm going to grab the last double crochet here. And then do my next one that I was missing. So 
If you see clearly, we have the four level crochets now on here. It's not noticeable. And instead of taking everything down, <clears throat> actually, I need to, to do another one because it's, hold on a second. So we have the four. So this one is five. So one, two, three, four, <clears throat> and five. We increased. So I added one here so we don't have to take the whole row down if you can see it by adding, doing a triple on it. Okay. And then you proceed again with your normal double crochets and doing the increase at the end. Like this, you don't miss any. These things are common. Sometimes we forget, we missed out. And instead of taking it down, you just add on to it. Okay? Okay, you guys, so we're on to row five. It is no different. Now we have six double crochets by adding two at the end and continue to proceed the same way as we've been doing. So this time we're going to have here we continue with the two double crochets in the groups in this group here of the heart and two at the end on th on the square One per space, of course. And two in the space here, as we've been doing. So we're just increasing. So we started with four, eight, 12, 16, and now 20. 20. So we're going to continue to do exactly the same thing and putting two at the end on the edges. Okay, so you're going to increase here two and two here. So we'll have 18 double crochets. One, two, uh, 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty on this side, twenty on this side, and again the same thing. And then on your edge, you're going to increase on the last one, two together. So we'll have a total of six double crochets. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, going into row six. So I've closed in my slip stitch. Now, remember when I say row six starts from the red, not from the one here. We know we have one, then increase two, three, four, five, six. But I'm counting from the red so we don't get mistaken. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And on here, we're going to do exactly what we've been doing the increase on the last double crochet, two together. So that means now we have seven, two, four, six, seven. Two chain. We're going to do our three double crochets here. Two chain and two more double crochets in the space. So now we're going to have 24 double crochets. 
and this will, row will be repeatedly the same way, 24. We're going to have 6 in one group only. 24, we're going to have 2 here. We're going to have only one group of 3. We're going to have 2 here. 2 are 24. 2 are 2 here, so that means we're going to have only one group of 3. And continue on. Come to the other edge, add 1 more on the same space that means two on the same space we're going to have seven double crochets i'll meet you at the end because this is just a repeat okay okay everyone so one two three four five six going into row seven we're going to change up a bit so i have eight double crochets two four six eight now here we're going to do two chain coming into the first one double crochet, two chain again, and I'm coming into the last one. So this is changed up now, okay? Two chain again. Now we did 24 double crochets on the previous row. We're gonna continue to do 24 double crochets on this row. This is how it's going to be all the way around. Nothing else changes except this, this little bit here. So eight double crochets, one square, two square, three square, 24 double crochets, and continue the same thing here. So I'll meet you here to show you how we're gonna proceed. So I've done my 24 double crochets. Now we're going to do three um, squares. One, two, coming in my first double crochet here. Two chain again, coming in my last. Now if your stitch is too wide, then do one chain only. Two chain again and coming in where my 24 double crochets are and proceed with the 24 double crochets. So even on the next one, will be the same way on the other side, the same thing. I'm gonna show you in a second. So three squares now, three squares. We'll have it here too. We'll have it here too here also and here also and everything in here of course and everything will stay the same as it is here the increases okay so very simple I'll meet you at the end so just wanted to show you to make sure you're not lost so we started with the three little squares here at the beginning we have it here we have it here and we have it just before the edge. And we have eight double crochets. Two, four, six, eight. We're gonna continue on and do exactly the same thing on this side. Okay, everyone, so counting from the red, we are on row eight, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight, counting from the red, so we have nine double crochets. Now we're gonna change up a bit again. Chain two, we're putting one on top of the double crochet, one in the center, and one on top of the other double crochet. So we're creating a little group here again. We're gonna do that all the way around on the four corners the same way. Chain two, coming on top where we have the 24 double crochets and we're going to do 11 double crochets. We're going to start forming the top part of the heart. So I'll be back to you once I'm done my 11. So I've done my 11 double crochets, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. Chain two. I'm going to skip one, two. On my third one, I'm going to 
to do a double crochet and do my 11 again. That's going to end up on the last one here, the 24 double crochet, right? So I'm going to continue to do my 11 on this side. Okay, so I've done my 11. Chain 2, I'm coming on top of the double crochet. Inside of the space. And one on top again. Chain 2. Coming on top of the double crochet. And doing my 11 double crochets again. After with two chains, skip two space and going to your third. So it'll be exactly the same thing as we just finished doing. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Chain two, one, two on the third space. Continue to do your eleven double crochets. We're going to repeat this all the way around the same way. So you know it in between your space, you have your group, one on top of the double crochet, one in the center and one on top. That's what you're going to do here, right? Do your 11, do your two chains, skip two space, go into third. Here we're going to create our group again, one on top of the double crochet, one in the center and one on top. Add one at the end, we'll have nine double crochets. So we're going to repeat this all the way around the same way and our heart is starting to take shape. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. Okay, everyone, going into row nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have ten double crochets. Chain two. Coming in my first one here. One double crochet chain two and I'm going inside of the space here and create my group of three double crochet chain two skip one two on my third one double crochet we are going to do seven double crochets I have my seven double crochet, so we skip the first two and we're going to skip the last two. Chain two, coming into the center of the heart. Create your three group, uh, your three double crochets, your group of three double crochets. Chain two again. Skip the first two. Come into the third and do your seven double crochets. Skip the last two, chain two, and come and do your group of three double crochet. Chain two, and proceed the same way with the rest of them again. Three double crochet, chain two, skip the first two, go into your third and do your seven double crochets. Now you're going to do the same thing here. You're going to skip these two, create your group, skip these two, create your seven, and so on. I'll meet you in a little bit.